Good morning and welcome to Green TV. Today is March 27, 2012. I'm Odin Burgess. To my right is Brock Shimano. Brock, yesterday we saw USDA crop progress come out. How's this winter wheat crop shaping up? Winter wheat crop is shaping up very nicely for the southern states. Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, Nebraska, all increasing the good to excellent ratings. This will certainly weigh on the market so we open up this morning. But the thing to keep in mind, traders are focusing on the end of the week. We have planning intentions report and the quarterly grain stocks. We had a bunch of analyst estimates all, th all throughout the beginning of this month. Logan, why don't you take us through what we found out? Yeah, Brock, well, basically we aggregated all these private analysts' uh, guesses for planted acres, for corn, soybeans, and wheat. You see that in the top row here. As you can see, 94.72 million acres is what kind of the trade's looking for uh, out of that corn crop. Uh, Informa, one of, the higher, uh, one of the higher guesses out of that group there, 95.5 million acres is what Informa is looking for. Uh, so certainly keep your eyes on that as we approach Friday. Soybeans, not really looking to pick up a lot of acres, around 400,000 acres of beans are looking to be planted uh, this year over what we saw in 2011. That's kind of been the big story here. Our farmers are going to be moving acres from corn into beans. Right now we see that new crop uh, bean corn ratio sitting around 2.39. A lot of people think that this is the area that, that farmers will be saying, yes, I am going to move some acres. But you know, this, this, uh, this survey was uh, wrapped up in the beginning of March when the ratio was only around 2.28. Do you think at that time, was anybody that you were talking to really saying, I'm, Brock, I'm moving acres from corn, corn into beans here? It doesn't seem like any of the producers I was speaking with were going to change their intentions. Um, you know, they've done field work in preparation to planting corn. We've had favorable weather to start the season. Right. And uh, you know, really their seed decisions have already been made. So I don't think there's going to be a whole lot of switching from corn to soybeans. Right. Another thing that might drive the market on Friday is going to be the core stocks report. We see the average of analyst estimate for corn is 6.15 billion bushels. Uh, compared to last year this time, which was at 6.5, we're quite a bit lower on the projections. Soybeans are going to be a little bit higher on the projections for the quarterly grain stocks. So there's just a couple of items we're going to have to keep our focus on on Friday. I have a couple of questions surrounding the corn market though. One is how much feed was actually used this year, and two, what was the ethanol usage like? Yeah, Brock, well, you know, we have seen a really warm winter across a uh, large swaths of the Midwest here. Was less corn going to feeder operations than what the USDA is uh, it is kind of uh, factoring into their model here. Additionally, on the ethanol front, is ethanol production more efficient than what the USDA is looking for? Are they producing more gallons of ethanol out of one bushel of corn than what the USDA has it pegged at? If there's an adjustment to either one of those two, that really could increase that ending stock, or the quarterly stocks figure, excuse me, and it could really weigh on those front month contracts here uh, in Friday's report. It'll be important to keep an eye on that here as we approach Friday. Follow us on Twitter, at Grain TV is where you can find us. We'll be tweeting all week. We're going to take a quick commercial break. Uh, come back. We'll watch these markets trade live. Grain Hedge is more than just futures trading. Clients receive our cash grain optimizer showing spot and forward bids within 200 miles of your farm. We take into account your trucking costs to find your best selling opportunity. We provide in-depth basis mapping historical basis and cash price charting. Every day we show you your best price and if it meets your profit goals. Contact Grain Hedge today to get started. Welcome back to Grain TV. The markets are open in Chicago. Let's turn over the fire tip trading software for the live quotes. Corn is down two cents, soybeans off one and a quarter, wheat in Chicago down five and a quarter, and Kansas City wheat off five and three quarters. Looks like that crop conditions in the southern plains are weighing on those wheat markets. Yeah, Brock. Well, let's take a quick look here, and let's uh, hop over to a uh, daily May corn chart here. As you can see, we've drawn a trend line off the lows we printed back in December. Second one's touching here uh, off those lows we printed in January. It looks like the trade today is kind of trading right down. Look at that, resting right on that trend line where it's at today. Well, another thing this trade's really been watching is that this blue line here. It's an 100-day moving average. As you can see here, we were really bumping our head against that back in December. Now that we're above it, it's turned to support to the downside. Yesterday, we traded and settled right on it. Looks like we might be moving back through that 100-day moving average here. Uh, that'll be interesting to note. All right, keep an eye on as we approach uh, uh, the March 30th planning intentions report. I think that kind of wraps up our show here for Tuesday morning. Have a great rest of your day.